on the head, you know, and then suffocate it. Think you can lift any latent prints? I mean, I feel like I'd like to do something. I'd like to break out of the mold, just bust loose. Pick the night and I'll cook it. Yeah, but I already got a girl. I'm a great cook. home for dinner tonight? Thursdays always do. Bringing Ellie with you? I always do. I just wanted to be sure. Mom, do you ever stop and think what might happen if we had a Thursday night dinner on a Wednesday or a Friday? I think you and your sister would come on Thursday nights anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go. Mm -hmm. I'll get your coat. <clears throat> Thank you. I wish you and Teresa wouldn't fight tonight. Honey, if Teresa and I didn't fight tonight, it wouldn't be Thursday, would it? I guess not. Bye-bye, Mom. Have a nice day, dear. She was hit on the head, you know, and then suffocated with that plastic bag. That's not official, of course. The coroner isn't here yet, but uh, you think you could uh, lift any latent prints off that plastic? That looks pretty crinkled. Maybe not the lab. Yeah, take it along with you, huh? Hey, and uh, check her out as fast as you can, Charlie. I want to get the body out of here before that bunch outside goes bananas. I assume whatever's on the doorknob shut. Yeah, you assume right. A lot of them grabbed onto it pretty good before we ever got here. That figures. What about those windows? What's on the other side? Fire escape or balcony or something? No. No, we figured it went out the same way he came in. It's not possible he could have gone out the window and just dropped to the ground. No. Now, Charlie, look, just dust for prints, will you? Leave the rest to me. Trying to give you the benefit of my experience, Robert. Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, from the looks of it, she didn't have much to steal. Yeah. That's pretty good. You ought to be a detective. You know? No, it wasn't robbery, as far as we know. I just hope I haven't got another kook on my hands who's starting out a new career. Leighton Prince. I'll check that file for you. Leighton Prince. Morning, Charlie. Good morning, Liz. What do you got? Bank job, as soon as it opened. Oh? What was it, a takeover or a little brown bag? Some nut with a gun, I was told. Anyway, he didn't wear gloves. Huh? Is there anything we could use? No such luck. Okay, I thought it. Oh, the lieutenant wanted to see you when you got in. Oh, yeah? Thanks. Mm. Clear? Good morning. 
Hey, hey, Ben, you want to talk to me? What's this noise I hear around about you and a transfer? Yeah, I've given it some thought. I mean, there's nothing definite yet. Definite enough for you to be nosing around other divisions looking for openings. Come on, Ben, I'm, I'm just talking, that's all. I need you here. For what? I mean, you're getting all these civilians from civil service. I mean, they're a lot prettier than I am. <laughs> Listen, you got a beef with this office. I expect you to talk to me about it. Get it straightened out. I got no beef, Ben. Then what? I just feel like I'm in a rut, that's all. I mean, maybe I need a change. Would you settle for a vacation? I've been doing the same thing day in and day out for eight years. I just feel closed in, Ben, that's all. I don't... I don't know, everything's got to be a habit. Don't you know what I'm talking about? Anyway, it's nothing against you, it's... Or the office. Or the office. Okay. Only don't make any hasty decisions, all right? All right. Company? Yeah. I would be very grateful if you would sign this for me. Oh, well, you're a breath of fresh air. Usually a messenger comes in here, throws it on the desk, shoves it under my nose to sign, and stands there scratching till I'm through. <laughs> well, I take pride in my job. Oh. You want a cup of coffee? Yes, I'd love it. Thank you. Good. Uh, black, please. Just heated it up. There you are. Thank you. Uh-huh. Right there. Oh, boy, you really shouldn't smoke. Oh, I know it. It's been so many years, it's hard to stop. Read the Bible. The Bible will keep you free of smoke and drink. They're not one of those... Oh, no, 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 I don't belong to any groups. I don't need the strength of others to help me live right. Fear the Lord. Well, what's your name? Alan. Well, you're a nice boy, Alan. You can stop by for a cup of coffee anytime you're in the neighborhood. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> It's been real nice talking to you. Do come back. living here with you. What time did the argument start? Didn't start. It's always going on. She said that friend of his got in on it, too. I always worried about him. Hey, you gonna lock him up? Can't do anything until I get some detail. Yeah, details. I'll bet you got Hi, Charlie. Well, the weapon's over there. Two guys, one unidentified. She says he was drinking out of that bottle. See if you can find some prints on it, would you? Gotcha. Yeah, he drink anything he could find. He shouldn't catch that dude. All right, come on, hold it, will you? Now, what time did you hear? All night, I told you. They never stop fighting. Well, this other man, you sure you don't know who he was? Just one of the drunks. He's always bringing home. Just glad the children weren't here to see. Are you married to the man? I wouldn't marry him. No! Oh, it's that ambulance, my God, I heard. You find him. His name's Albert Walters. You get me. I told him I was going to call the police. He got scared. He ran that hunting rifle out the bus. And we both ran. Okay, you go to the hospital. I'll talk to you later. You get him. Give me back my money. Okay, I promise. Get her out of here. How long have they been living here? Three years. Four. Only three, just after I moved in. It was four. Well, honey, he gonna live in jail now. Which one of you called the police? I did. And what did you do? Well, I tried to help 
Such a pretty little young thing. Hey, Sarge, just got it on my radio. They're cornered on a vacant lot three blocks from here. Armed. Okay, let's go, Beach. Get him and put him away for good. Missing up his car. Charlie, you want to come? Well, I don't care about no touching. I just don't like these people busting up. Don't let anybody touch anything, right? Nothing. That old rifle's liable to explode in your face. Give it up, Walters. You hear? Come on, Walters. You're not going to do anything. Throw that piece on the ground. Come on, Walters. Just put your hands on top of your head and walk out slow. Mm. I was saying, Mom, the kids want to know when they can come to Thursday night dinner. I hope you said never. I told him that was my night to eat without fighting him for the food. That boy eats all the time, just like his father. I wish Patsy Anna would eat like that. She needs a little more meat on her. Well, she does eat, Ma. It's just her metabolism. She's thin, like Ellie. What are you talking about? Ellie's not thin. No, no, I mean slender, dummy, not skinny. No offense, Ellie. I think you have a lovely figure. Thank you, Teresa. Yeah, it's nice for having babies. Mm. You see where his head is at? Would you serve Charlie? Anyway, what's wrong with having babies? Nothing. Only people should be married first. You know, I can't figure out how come you haven't nailed him yet. Teresa. Listen, we'll have lunch and I'll tell you how to land him. I don't need lessons. Teresa, you've got a big mouth, you know that? Can't we have one Thursday night dinner without you two going at it? Can't we have one Thursday night dinner without her telling us to get married? Yes. When? After the ceremony. <laughs> I do with these kids. <laughs> What you said, you know, about not smoking anymore. I've been smoking since I've been 17. I don't know as if I can quit. I read an article that said, if you can only do it like you stop smoking but one cigarette for an hour, and then the next day you take one cigarette for two hours a day, and then the next day, well, I don't know how you can do that, but... <laughs> out the outline of the body, huh? Lee, I want both color and black and white pictures. Herb, check, make sure the coroner's on his way. Good morning, Bob. Charlie? Busy week, huh? All right, all right. I don't need to hear it from you, too. Same cook as yesterday, plastic bag. Did you get anything off the other plastic bag? No, that's a smudge, just a couple of fingers. Not enough to run a make on. Who found this one? The mailman. She's usually here waiting for him, you know, but he found the door locked, got word. She hasn't missed a day in eight years, so he got the maintenance to let him in. Naturally, they're all over the doorknob, right? No, no, just on the outside. They looked in, saw the body, had sense enough to back out without coming in. Well, how'd they know she was dead? How does a little, little bird know it can fly? Listen, I'm supposed to be in court at 11. I may not make it. Yeah. Yeah, I got something here. Yeah. How long has she been dead? Oh, I don't know. It's kind of stiff, I'd say. It uh, happened sometime last night. Huh? Mm. Makes it the same as yesterday's case. Killed the night before, huh? What, what, what do you know about yesterday's case? Uh, I phoned after the autopsy. 
Do you think I just lift prints and forget about it? Uh, Jan, uh, make sure we get the exact distance here from the desk to the body. Hmm? I just hope this kook isn't on some, you know, want a day kick. Autopsy on the other one didn't say anything about sexual molestation. How's this one look to you? Well, if he raped her, he did a nice job of getting her all dressed and nice and neat again. No robbery either, huh? No, not so far as we can tell. The woman didn't have anything. She ran a couple of little uh, mail order businesses out of the same address. She barely made a living. Any connection to yesterday's victim? Yeah, and they're both dead. Hey, Charlie, come on, stop fooling around, will you? Maybe you can get some prints off the coffee cups. Come up with something. Robert, prints are left by suspects. I only find them, I don't invent them. I show you these prints, and can you identify them? Yes, sir, these are prints that I lifted from uh, uh, objects in the possession of the defendant, February 4th. Stolen objects? Yes, sir, they were found to be so. Now I show you this last set of prints. Would you identify those? Well, yes, these are inked prints. And these were made at the jail at the same time as the arrest and bear the name of the defendant. Do they match exactly the latent prints you described before to us? Yes, sir, I compared them and they uh, were all made by one and the same person. Thank you. Your Honor, I request that the people's exhibit the latents lifted from the victim's residence, people two, the latents lifted from the stolen property, and people three. Your usual good job. Thanks a lot, Charlie. All I did was confirm. You were the one who found it. Wish it were all as easy. How's your mother? Oh, she's fine. You know, she asked me about you the other day. Give my best, will you? Hey, if you're still interested, I think there's a spot opening up in burglary. Really? I'll check in. To you. Listen, you want to have some lunch? No time. What do you think? I got a soft job like yours? I got to keep moving, man, or else half the stuff in the city will change hands. Take it easy. I'll see you, Frank. you for going with me last week. Well, you cut it out. Civil service didn't say anything about going into bad areas in the middle of the night. Why don't you become a cop? You can carry a gun. <laughs> I'd probably shoot my foot off. <laughs> anyway, I decided I owe you a dinner. Pick the night and I'll cook it. Candlelight, wine. Wow, all that just because I went on your case with you? Sure. Plus the fact you're the only single guy I've met on the job. Good-looking dame like you shouldn't have any trouble. Boys. Boys interested in one-night stands only. What makes you think this boy would be any different? Mm, I've asked around. You've been married. An old, wasn't it? You take care of your mother. You're the senior sergeant of the outfit. You're settled and responsible, and you're a prime candidate. Yeah, but I already got a girl. So I've heard. Her name's Ellie, and you've been dating her for over a year. But uh, no one's mentioned anything about your getting married. Well, that's probably because I don't know what's good for me. You'll never know if you don't look around. And you'll miss a lot of dinners. I'm a great cook. <laughs> The detectives here. You're the first one. He's no detective. He's from Leighton Prince. <laughs> Very funny. Hi. I'm Sergeant Ryan from Leighton Prince. How are you doing? You okay? He got hit in the head. How could he be okay? I'll live. What'd they hit you with? Not, not they. It's he. He with his gun. Did you notice that this guy uh, touch anything? You only the money when he opened the register. 
Oh, good. Maybe we can get at least one good print from the register. How come he happened to open the register by himself? Because my husband told him to go to hell. This guy, when he first came in, did he, uh... Did he just come right over and put the gun on you, or, or what did he do? No, he... He waited till the store was empty. Oh? Huh? What did he do while he was waiting? Oh, I don't know, just... Kind of hung around. Like you... Like he was gonna buy something. Like he wanted to buy what? You mean like a bottle? Yeah, a bottle. Uh-huh. Bottle of what? I... He, he, he stood near the wine. You want to show me where? Show him. Yeah, I'll show you. He was, uh... Kind of hanging around here. That's what I got here. What are you doing? Well, you see, if he held the bottles, his fingers would be on the back. Listen, is he going to be all right? I mean, that fella, that doctor, he, he keeps saying I'm a, a concussion, a, a fracture, I don't know. I'm sure he's going to be fine. I mean, he sure talks good. <laughs> I've been married to the fella for 45 years. He never had any trouble talking. He didn't deserve to be hit on the head. Hey, really, he's going to be fine. Yeah. I, I told him oh, we should get out of here. And he said, oh, sure, sure, but let's build up the business until we can get a good price for it. But the neighborhood went down and not up. And now the price we can get for it is lower and lower. I mean... You're going to be okay, mister. Who wants to buy a hit on the head? No! No, no! No, no, I said. I said, no, no, you want to bandage me, okay, but but no hospital, forget it. Well, they give me a bad time, what's the matter? They want to take me to the hospital. Yeah, well, they should. I mean, you should be x-rayed. You might have a fractured skull or something. No, I said. I don't want to leave her alone here. But you're a nice man. When you deliver these, you make sure they understand that we need them to be returned today, right. no matter how late it is. Yes, ma'am. Tell them to call your company and have somebody pick up. We'll pay for it. I'll be glad to pick it up myself. It's liable to be after 6 o'clock. I don't mind working late. I know how important it is to you. Uh, will there be uh, somebody here to uh, receive it? I will. <laughs> I can't go home until they get back. Well, in that case, I'll deliver it to you myself, and I'll try and hurry them up so you're not too late. Well, that'd be really nice of you. <laughs> I'll tell you, if you do it, I'll make sure you get a big tip. No, oh, ma'am, I thank you very much, but this is something I want to do for you. <laughs> you really are a nice kid. <laughs> um... Look, when you get back, I want to take your name and address and put it on file. So if we ever need a full-time messenger, I'll make sure it's you. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> Look forward to seeing you later. Right. Suppose the men were still here when my wife came home. Then what? She might have been killed. I doubt it, Mr. Austin. Most burglars don't risk carrying weapons. Conjecture. That's all that is. Even so. What could we have done? We can't be in every building at once. You live in a security building. Security? <laughs> you can have better locks on your doors. All right, all right. When do you think you can catch this man? We'd like to ask a few more questions, if you don't mind. Sure, sure. Go ahead. Which of you was the last out of the apartment today? My wife. And what time was that? About noon. And you double locked the door? She always does. And did you today, Mrs. Austin? What are you doing? Trying to make it her fault? Yes, I locked the door today. Well, have you found anything yet? Uh, yes, sir. Good. About time. Why aren't you over here helping where it could do some good?
you got, Charlie? Well, it looks like three fingers, probably right hand. Hmm. How long will it take to identify him? Can you pick him up before he disposes of my property? We can identify an unknown suspect with only three fingerprints, Mr. Austin. What? No, we need all ten fingers if we're going to search through the files. See, even then, the man's got to have some sort of a record. I never heard of such a thing. It happens to be true. Then what's he wasting his time for? Mr. Austin, just calm down. Now, this burglar's a pro. He'll keep on hitting. Sooner or later, he'll be picked up by street personnel, and then we'll call Sergeant Ryan, and he'll make the comparison. You might as well stop before you waste all our time. We need him, Mr. Austin. For what? He can't catch anybody. You know what I pay in taxes? Why am I supporting a fingerprint department that can't even catch crooks? I'll take care of this soul I send you. I'm being good to her. She seeks the peace you offer. She was... She was a good lady. Nice to me. Oh, she had so much tension, so much pressure. She'd be much happier if you give her peace. Something just about as helpful. Looks like the killer sat here in this plastic supporting himself by one hand. Hey. Well, that, uh, that gives us five fingers, huh? Gives us more than that. It gives us a beautiful palm. Look at that. Mm. It's a beautiful little scar right in the middle. Yeah. Hey, well, stop praying, baby, huh? Pray that we got that palm print on file. Yeah. I'm praying. How, uh, how long is it going to take you to check it out? Well, that's a little bit of a problem. See, palms aren't classified. We'll have to check everything we got. Yeah. Well, you got to work on it full time. Got Charlie, you know, we got to nail this nut. Sure, we'll give you full time, Bob. Good. Everything else in town comes to a standstill. All right. I get it. How long? Let me put it this way. We'll give you the best we got. How's that? Boy, it's almost clear as a bell, isn't it? Older women, run down business section. Closing time, just a little later. I, I asked the Metro squad for some extra people, you know, put on some added patrols, get some people to walk through the buildings. Yeah, I tell you what else might be a good idea. Huh. You spread the word to have these ladies not stay so late in these places. Certainly not alone. You tell me how I'm going to do that, spread the word without creating a panic. Gee, I don't know, Bob. Why don't you check with public relations? Well, sure. Look, I know it's a horrendous job. We gotta do it, that's all. And each one of these cards gotta be checked. That'll take months, longer. That's right, and there are more cards on the way. I've asked that each new arrest get a palm print as well as the usual ten. Now, that means we're gonna be looking at drunks, hypes, anybody that gets picked up for anything. I mean, there'll be a steady supply. Give me a minute. What about the regular work? Business as usual, honey. We're gonna Please check these out between jobs, yes, coffee sir. breaks. Yes, I mean, sir. I can't ask Good you to give up your lunch hours, but... Uh... Only you just did. That's right. You're terrific, Charlie. Here, be my guest. Thanks. Let's the rest of you. Come on, don't be shy. Coffee break's almost over. This is your second half of slow fire. Fire at will. Empty your weapons. Pick up your scores. Hey, Marty. Hey, Charlie. How's it going? Hey, Charlie. What are you doing here? What do you mean? What is monthly qualific... Oh, I see. Yeah, well, you know, even we have to qualify. Beats me. Why? You know why I beat you? No, it's not like they're real cops. I know. Well, you know. Hey, Charlie. On the square. You can tell me. I'll tell you what. Do you remember to bring your gun? 
<laughs> Take your positions. Get ready for rapid fire. All units stand by. 7 Adam 31 is in pursuit of a stolen vehicle. 1968 Ford sedan license number BXR965. Heading west on Durango off the freeway. <laughs> Adam 21, assist in pursuit of stolen vehicle when found on Durango. 7 Adam 21, stolen vehicle now west on Jackson. 33 and 31 also in pursuit. You're going, mister? You see what you did to us? Oh. <clears throat> Just trying to intercept that hot car. Yeah, well, Sergeant, I would suggest red lights and a siren if you don't want to kill somebody. Where do you work? Leighton Prince. Listen, Sarge, you guys really ought to stay in your offices. So we'll be safe, right? <laughs> is empty and it shouldn't be empty. Why don't you go home? Shouldn't be empty. Well, now watch yourself. <laughs> you know, in the 23rd song, it says, my cup runneth over. <laughs> well, my cup <laughs> doesn't run it over. <laughs> You're going home, buddy. I ain't got time for no drunks. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Just one, one more. One more. And then you go, right? Right. Under the host and the gates of the citadel. I forgot to unplug the coffee pot. If it's too strong, I'll make some fresh, huh? That's just like Mother used to make. <laughs> and still does. You're a darling girl, you know that? Hmm, sometimes. What do you mean sometimes? Well, like tonight. Our usual Saturday night dinner out and a movie and then back here. I feel like your darling girl. When don't you feel like it? Thursday nights. Come on, Alina, you know Teresa means well. Oh, she... I know, I know. But when she gets into why we're not married, why aren't we married, Charlie? We're not going to talk about that tonight, are we? That's what you said the last time. Oh, I don't mean to be pushy, but I, I guess I do. You're not pushy, Ellie. Okay. Then I'm honest. 
Charlie, I love you. And you say you love me. Well, people make a life together when they feel that way. Honey, now you know this Ma, right? No, no, your mother has nothing to do with it, and you know it. Now, lots of men take their mothers in when they're widowed. You make a good salary. You could take care of both of us with no strain. Oh, you're just gonna quit your job, huh? I mean, you're not gonna go on working? Well, I'll have babies to take care of. I want babies, Charlie. Our babies. I don't mean we have to do it tomorrow, but... just tell me that we will. I mean... give me some sort of idea when. A woman likes to dream ahead. I don't know, Ellie. I just... I don't know. I never thought about a set time. I... Is it still your old marriage? Is that what's scaring you? I mean, because it didn't work out the first time, you're afraid to take another chance? I like being married. She was the one who didn't like being married. <laughs> anyway, that's not it. Tell me what it is. Uh, Ellie, I, 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 I don't know, honey. I just, I just feel too restless right now to try to make any kind of decisions. I, just, I don't know what the problem is. I, I, I just know it bugs me. I mean, I feel like I'd like to do something. I'd like to break out of the mold, just bust loose. I don't know. Just, I don't know. Are you bored with me, Charlie? Oh. <laughs> I, mean, I think I'm just maybe bored with me. Time to go. He's just a kid. Yeah. Nice enough, too, until he got too much inside of him. Yeah. Always something, isn't it? We'll just let him sleep it off tonight at city expense. Teresa, I gotta go to the office. On Sunday? Yeah, well, just for a while. Well, you should take a day off. You work too oh, hard. Oh, I know, Mom. It's terrible. I want to take a break soon. Seeing Ellie later? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Say hello to her for yeah, me. Yeah, I will, Mom. Well, why don't you come by after dinner, then, if you want? Uh, we'll see, okay? What is that for? For anything you want. I just thought you needed one. A nice girl, Teresa. I'll even be nicer after you marry. Mm -hmm. Oh! oh. <laughs> hey, don't you know it's Sunday? Tell me about it. Sunday follows Saturday, especially Saturday night. I think somebody had a wild night. Mm, well, I sure did. Now I'm paying the dues. Yeah, well, that'll teach you. Mm. Why can't I find some nice, quiet guy like you who'd be content to stay home and snuggle? Do you know how dull that would get after a while? Dull me, dull me. I can't even see straight. Maybe I should go home. Why don't you do that? Go on, get out of here. Is that an order, Sarge? What's the matter? I don't sound official. Sure, that's an order. Okay. I'm 
from the drunk tank. And I think I'm lucky not to be in it. <laughs> Charlie. Huh? Take the afternoon off with me. I promise my headache will go away. Well, maybe some other time. I better stay here and put a dent in these things. You know what, Charlie? What? You're in a rut. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Liz. Yeah? Have fun. Investigative headquarters, Sergeant Rice. Yeah, this is Ryan and Leighton Prince. Listen, I need a crew to pick up a suspect. I don't have anybody available now, Ryan. Uh, I'll have to call a radio unit. Uh, yeah, meet me in Central Jail as soon as you get somebody, okay? 1K4, 1K4, your location, please. Hey, Sergeant. You got an arrestee in the drug tank, Alan Rich. Hang on to him. He's a homicide suspect. I got a slip. He's been released. Or You're kidding. When? Right now. Checking out. Call. Sign here. Officer Phillips. No, he just left. Are you here for Rich? Yeah. Yeah, he's here. He just went out that door. Come on, let's grab him. I can't leave here. Let me get somebody. What does he look like? Young Caucasian, 21, 22, tall, thin, a pink cardigan jacket, uh, brown pants. Let me call Central for a radio car. Sergeant Ryan.
need more. Police officer, I'm taking, I'm taking you in, kid. Why don't you just, why don't you just leave me alone? I'm taking you in. Mr. I don't want to hurt you. Put it out. Put it Give me your hand. You get out of there. Get over there. not good enough for you, Sergeant. Where you been, Sarge? We've been looking all over for you. Oh, well, what do we got here? Uh, yeah. Uh, you want a ride, Sergeant? Or uh, this cab come off your expense account? I've got your own cars. You don't listen to me. Cops. Charlie! Just <clears throat> came by to change my clothes. What happened? I just made an arrest. What do you mean you made an arrest? What are you, a policeman for that? That's what I am, honey. He's a policeman. Charlie, are you all right? Yep. As a matter of fact, I'm more all right than I've been in a long time. Where's my extra shirt? Will you tell me what happened? Well, a couple of things, honey. First, I'm out of shape, but I'll fix that. Two, I got to realize I'm not 21 years old anymore. And three, I like my job. I got a good one. You know, you're not making one bit of sense. Four, I don't have to make sense if I don't want to. Okay. Five. We're going to get married right away. You are? Well, if you don't want to, there's a good-looking girl down at the office who's been giving me the once-over. I want to. 
Oh, I want... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The kid's got quite a punch, honey. Hey, what do you say we get over to Teresa's? Teresa's? For what? Tell her we're going to get married. <laughs> I just want to spend one afternoon watching her with nothing to stick her nose into. And how long will that last? Oh, about one afternoon. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Location of your call, 13A11, stand by. Units on 2, Newton, stand by. 13A11, go ahead. 3-0.